Come sailing with us today as we battle big waves, strong currents, and high winds funneling through the Canary Islands as we leave Tenerife. Our route will take us far south, off the coast of Africa, through the equator, and into the South Atlantic Ocean. We are going non-stop for thousands of miles until we reach South America. But first, we need to leave the dock. Landlubbers, hang on to your coffee. As we leave the harbor, we are met with large waves coming down from a building system in the North Atlantic. The forecast is for winds to build to over 35 knots with 3 meter waves. This is a tricky sailing area as winds and currents meet between the islands to stack up steep waves. Our weather routing will have us on port tack for at least the next 24 hours. So we set the whisker pole to stabilize the jib. Turn off the engine. Yay! We are finally sailing. We are on our way to South America. We may stop in Cape Verde. We may stop in Fernando de Nahorna. We may stop in Brazil before we finally get to Argentina. No guarantees. We don't really know. Uh, we're not quite sure countries are open or not, so we'll find out as we go here. We love having a dangling carrot to chase. It just so happens our friends aboard the boat Grandma left the harbor a few hours before us. Can we catch them? that boat it's in front of us or no? uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh just kidding we, we're going so fast that we've caught up to it and now it's on our beam here so he's got a few more reefs in check 
trying to uh, be a little bit more comfortable, but I think we're fairly comfortable at 11 knots. Make sure you get that on the only, <laughs> only nine right now. Ah, nine. Now you gotta go off the waves too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, we're Sailing Sweet Ruka. I'm Kate, this is Curtis, and Roxy the dog. We're here to sail around the world via Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. We like to take the sea less traveled and are ready for some serious offshore sailing. So come along for the ride and click subscribe. We're pretty settled in now. We're just sailing right along. We've got, we've got one reef in the main and we've got the jib furled uh, to about a reef and a half, maybe 20% off of it. And over there behind us, right there, is our new friend's grandma. They are participating in a rally, uh, which we're not technically part of, but they were cool enough to let us hang out for a little bit and talk with them and get a little bit of their information, which was super, super awesome. They are in Allures 45.9 and uh, super cool guys. So hopefully we'll see them uh, somewhere down the road and share a glass of wine with them in Argentina or Chile. Kind of see the sail set up and everything down there. We've got a long way to go with this, so hopefully we're not going to have any problems with the main and any shaping. 
Uh, we've sailed in this condition before and it seemed pretty okay, but Woo! we'll see. <laughs> Some pretty good waves. Some are breaking and uh, this is really, really fun sailing conditions. The good news is the autopilot is doing its job. I think I can hone him in a little bit better, but uh, overall he's steering very, very well in these conditions. It is like a roller coaster ride today. Woo. The wind is anywhere from 20 to 30 knots. So it's blowing pretty good. Some big puffs are coming down from the big hills uh, behind us over here. And we are just ripping right along. We've surfed up to 12 knots. Uh, we're probably averaging maybe nine knots or so. So we're really enjoying this ride. And the boat is pretty calm pretty chill and I think maybe time time for some lunch maybe a nap as we say goodbye to our friends from Tenerife bye 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 well see you later <laughs> big dogs huh surfing. We just hit a new top speed record for the Sweet Ruka of 15.45 knots. That is absolutely hauling. We found out she hums a little bit. Uh, it's very cool. Our previous top speed was right around 15 even, so that was fun. We know she has more speed in her though. I think she can hit 20 one day. What do you think? Ooh, I don't know if I want to find out. <laughs> The waves out here are getting pretty big as we're leaving the side of the island. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind us, they're starting to break a little bit downwind. Uh, it's blowing 25 to 30 knots, pretty steady right now. So pretty good conditions. Uh, good sweet Ruka conditions, but not necessarily maybe uh, conditions for some more timid sailors. But uh, we'll keep humming right along here and see if we can keep surfing and have fun. Here we go. Look at it. Surf, surf. the ocean
The winds continued to build throughout the day, consistently setting off our high wind alarm, which was set at 35 knots. Occasionally we were seeing puffs to 40. It was time to make a change to our sail configuration. We had too much mainsail up, causing the helm to load and the autopilot to have problems steering in the waves. We decided to put in the third reef to balance the boat a bit better. But reefing downwind is tricky, especially while sailing in these strong winds and large waves. The sail gets pinned up against the shrouds and the spreaders, so it won't come down without steering the boat into the wind. It's a balancing act, though. If we steer up too much and we lose headway, our rudder loses control and we risk being broadsided by a breaking wave. This is real sailing, not some Caribbean cruise. We are sending it, but any mistakes now will cost us big as we have almost a month at sea ahead of us in extremely remote waters with no outside help available. This is what it really sounds like offshore. Enjoy the actual sounds of the ocean and sailing as we stick this reef in. Good evening everyone at home. It is about 9.30 in the evening on our first day here offshore after leaving Tenerife and everything is going pretty well. It is pretty windy and it is pretty wavy. The waves are actually stacked up pretty big. Uh, some of them are breaking which is making the autopilot's life a little bit tricky. What we did is we decided to uh, put a third reef in the main for the evening 
and then uh, remove the pull from the jib tonight just to make sure that if something does happen we do wipe out or something uh, we're not going to catch the pole in the water and cause a whole lot of problems. So things are looking pretty good though. We are rocking and rolling right along, uh, surfing up to 11 knots with this kind of rolled up jib and triple reef main configuration. So uh, plenty of sail area for speed downwind here. And uh, uh, oh, we did already shave through one of our jib sheets. It just wore right through the cover where it was connected to the pole. That was the original reason why we needed to remove the pole was it was all the way down to the core. So one jib sheet down, but hey, no biggie. We've got some more rope on here and uh, we'll get that fixed up. We're probably going to have to jive tomorrow morning sometime. Uh, otherwise, we're going to hit the coast of Africa. We'll see if there's a wind shift that happens. But right now we're sailing a little bit hotter than we want to. We want to be sailing like 160, 170 true, but with the wave state, it's kind of dangerous to do that with the autopilot. The last thing we want is uh, an accidental drive or something like that. So uh, we're sailing about 141 true, which seems to be where the autopilot's kind of comfortable and, uh, and safe. We'll update you guys some more later. Here's a look at the charts. And a special thank you to our patrons for making these videos possible. You too can be a patron for as little as $1 a month. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Fair winds and following seas. Until next week.